Chestnuts, otherwise known as castanje, are something you find on our table throughout the holiday season. They're simple to prepare, they're very tasty, and they're very good for you. Castanje can be found in your grocery store. They're usually in a big bin over by the nuts, potato area of your market. They're very simple to prepare. We're going to just make a slit across an X over the top of the chestnut. The chestnuts are very hard, the shell is tough, and you need to be very careful. I like to use a paring knife. A paring knife is small, you have good control over it, and it's sharp, it has a little tip on the end. You can pierce the skin. The chestnut, you'll notice, is round on one side and it has a flat side. You're gonna place the flat side down on a cutting board. You're going to use your paring knife and you're going to use the point of the paring knife. You're going to stick it straight into the chestnut. Now again, it's very hard. We're going in, we're gonna just draw our knife back. There's one part of your X. Again, we're gonna pierce the top, being very careful, and we're gonna rock our knife back. So here you'll see you have an X. It's a little labor intensive. You're gonna go through each chestnut, make that X, set them aside, and then we're gonna run them under some hot water. When you're cutting your chestnuts, you wanna pierce the skin, but do not go all the way through to the opposite side. You're really going halfway through, maybe even a little less than halfway through. If you go all the way through, the shell's gonna crack, the moisture will escape from both ends, and you're really just trying to open it up enough so that the steam gets in and it makes the chestnut on the inside creamy and super delicious and not dry, that's the key. At this point, we're just trying to rinse off any residue that may have been left on them from their packaging. And also, this helps to add a little bit of moisture into the cut so when we wrap them in our parchment paper and place them in the oven, the steam will hold inside the paper this little bit of water. So we've rinsed them enough. So what I have here is two pieces of parchment paper. I've made it in an X, nice and big. We're gonna fold this up in a package. So we're gonna just dump out our washed castanzis right in the middle. We're going to use a little bit of kosher salt, or sea salt, whatever you have on hand. Just a little goes a long way. This just helps bring out the flavor. You know, chestnuts can be very bland in taste, although the way we're making them, they're going to be delicious, but a salt does really help. Then, here I have white wine. Any white wine that you have on hand in your house, whatever wine you like to drink, is the wine that you should cook with. It's a flavor that you're already familiar with and you know you're going to love. So here is Pinot Grigio. And I'm just going to, with a pastry brush, just dab the castagne with a little bit of white wine, maybe two tablespoons. When it looks something like this, wet, not soaking wet, just wet enough, that's when you know you got it good. Now we're going to wrap our castagne up. So again, here we have a cross. We're gonna take the paper that's on the very bottom and fold that up first. Gather it together, fold it down, crease it, roll it down again, crease that. Pretty simple at this point. Now we're going to bring the two sides forward, kind of like wrapping a present. And then the last side we're gonna fold in. And here we have a nice little bundle. All our moisture is going to be trapped inside. And our castani are gonna come out tasting delicious and super creamy and moist. At this point, we're going to take our bundle of chestnuts wrapped in parchment paper, and we're going to carefully place them onto a cookie sheet lined with foil and pop them into a 450 degree preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes. The castani has rested on the counter for five to 10 minutes now. Can't wait to see what we have inside. Let's open it up and see if we're successful in keeping all that steam in. It's like opening a present on Christmas morning. Oh boy, they're perfect. They smell so good. Popped open, soft inside, easy to peel. This is why we make that X. You can smell the white wine and the chestnut, that little bit of salt brings all the flavors together. They smell just like my childhood. I have to try one, I can't wait. When you peel the skin back, the moist nut. Oh, there's nothing like roasted chestnuts this time of year. 
they are perfect. These are outstanding. You have to try them. Creamy, not dry at all, perfect texture. We were so successful. Cook your Costanzis this year in parchment paper with a little sprinkle of salt and some white wine, and you're gonna have delicious Costanzis.